Hello everybody out there today we're going to show you guys how to make you a J hook uh, like I'm going to use it on my roll bike I got big double J hooks but this is just a little homemade one I'm going to use for my safety chain on the back uh, I just didn't want to buy one had the stuff to make it had some spare time so we're using a U-boat out of a big truck like a coal truck uh, I've already cut it here and got it started, but uh, then I decided I'd make a video for you and I'll show you what I got going on here. As you can see, well, it was a U boat. Still got the threads. I cut it off with a grinder. There's the other piece. Be a good pry bar. And. I just took my grinder and all the way around it. I just rounded it up to a good point. That way it don't, not sharp, can't get cut on it, it's getting smooth. You know, and it'll slide through whatever. So, go to any, about any big truck dealer. They'll probably give you one of these they got laying out back. And just... Just eyeballed it up to where it comes around. Looked like it'd be enough for me. Cut it off. Smoothed it out. I'll show you how. I'm going to go right here where these threads are. And put me a flat spot on each side. These are, uh, should be case hardened boats. I'm like 99% sure. And you don't want to get it over hot. Like. You don't want to take the tension out of it. And what I just grind in here, I mean, it never even got hot up in here. And right here is your best thing to do it with. I mean, you want to use a cutoff wheel to cut it off. But these paddle wheels, as I call them, are just, they're great. They do a great job. They take it down better than a grinding wheel, in my opinion. But I'm going to grind a couple flat spots here. I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. Then I'm going to drill through it and... uh We'll decide how we're going to connect our chain to it. See how fast this is just eating these threads up. These wheels are the best in my opinion. And it's flat. I think I'll bring this side up a little more. About even with that side flatness. Need to, if I can get the camera to focus. But my reasoning for this, the flat spot on this, is we're going to drill through here. And uh, that way I can put uh clevis or something that way it'll swivel and then always bind it up i've seen people do these and they take a chain link and they'll cut it and weld it to each you know a bigger one they'll cut it and weld it like this on each side i don't really want to do that uh, I just they always bind when you do that so i'd like to have one like a hammer lock they that's what I call them. I don't know the name of it, but that's what I'd like or something like that or Another idea I thought about of course on a smaller level is putting a small clevis through it like this a Small one. I think I have a couple but we'll uh, We'll see That was just way too big. We'll see what we got and uh get back to you on it how we do it i'll show you how i'm going to do it i right, like like it and subscribe guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up thumbs down uh got any comments let me know you know i'm always up for suggestions all right we got this flat spot drilled on this or let me rephrase that not drilled got it uh grind it down on it I'm going to make me a spot right here. Start my drill bit. 
Take me a punch. Boy, my bit won't walk. Try to get it centered. Looks like a pretty good starter spot there. Show y'all what I'm doing if I don't knock my camera down. You probably want to have a really, really good bit for this. Put a little bit of oil on it. Out of my oil bucket up here for my oil burner. Wanna pause here and I'll be right back. Got me a couple of drops of oil down in there. That keeps your, uh, of course, I'm sure everybody watching this knows this. Keeps your drill bit uh, getting hot. You don't want to force your drill bit. Let it do the work. I took quite a bit of pressure on it. I'm bogging it out there. Try to go through now. There we are. Got a hole through. little off center be okay it's thick enough to do whatever we're going to do with it using tiny chains to bind this down there's not a lot of pressure on it it's just a safety chain but i'm going to use a pretty big chain try to get a shackle through that uh we'll see how it works i'll come back after i get some more parts tomorrow i'll finish this video up if this is anything you like like it share it You're probably gonna try to Take a wire brush or something like this and paint it up real good. That way it, uh, sorry, you can get in my face. I was showing you what I was working on, but paint it up, make it look good. I mean, doesn't really matter. It's just, like I said, going on my real bike for a safety chain on the back. I got one J hook for the bike, but it's, it's on my 20 foot chain. So I want something on about a six foot chain. That way it works better for me. I'll uh, try to show you at the end here how it's gonna work. You know, what I'm, how I hook it in and everything. All right, guys, like, subscribe, share, and I'll finish up later. Thank you. All right, we're coming back to you on this J hook. Uh, we worked on it last week. My fan in the background here a little loud, but uh, we've we've tried several things. I bought one of these. This was I did, but then I'm gonna have to grind this down way more to get it to accept it way up in there. Sorry, I'm out of frame. I have to grind it down more. And, you know, by the time I think we get it up in here. We're going to be about bottomed out anyways on your shank. It ain't going to swivel too good. Uh, I had a couple ideas with a clevis, but I'm going to drill that hole out massive. And that's, if I drill it out with that clevis that much, put that clevis through it, it's not going to give me a lot of meat. It'll probably never break out, but really don't want to chance it. Uh, so... I don't have the correct size boat to do the job I wanted to do, but here's what we're gonna do. I got a bigger, cl this clevis. I took out the insert, had a smaller clevis here, and I either have to spread it or grind it, and I'm wondering if I'll have enough by the, well, uh, look at that, look at that. Uh, wait a minute, we might go with this. See what I can do here. Not. I was going to use this one, just put a bit. All right, we're at last video cut off at. We uh, accidentally cut it off, but it was 
I did time to cut it off. So I'll show you what we got going on here. We got James out here with me. Say hello, James. All right, got her clevis here. I had to buff this off a little more. Got my buffing wheel, paddle wheels, I like to call them. And I had to buff this out just a little bit. I can get the camera to focus. See them rough lines in here where they're like molded lines or however these are made like he's right. Come on, focus. Right here, my finger. Them's all the way through it. Yeah, right here. See how I buffed them out a little bit just to help my twist on here like this. We'll put us a chain on here and uh, we'll brush it up. Probably let James paint it and I'll show you the end of it here. The camera bus. Alright, we got our clevis here, got our chain. My voice sounds weird because I'm talking into the fan. So we're just going to slide this through here like this. Slide this on. Figure out what I did with the other piece of the clevis. Oh, right here it is. I'm probably going to put some Loctite on this while it won't work loose. Uh, Just go through where it's just right. Now on a clevis, you always want get it on the clevis. On the clevis. On a clevis. Rule is you always want to tighten it up, back it up a quarter of a turn, because usually you're taking them on and off. Me. So, but I want to tighten this one all the way down because I don't want it to come off. So we'll probably put some Loctite on it. You can uh, see it's moving. Could move a little more this way. I may get a thinner wheel and buff this out later. Like I said, it'd come on and off. But I think that's all the move I'm going to need because they hook upside. But anyways, we put this in here. You hook these hooks upside down like this. That's going to allow that to uh, move back and forth. I'm not sure how much he got of me on this other video till I look at the footage and uh, crop it or whatever. And here's her chain. We probably got about a, I don't know, about a six, six, seven foot chain roughly. That's just about what I want. I don't want no 20 foot chain or just too much to deal with hooking up a safety chain. We're going to finish working on this. We'll come back to you. We got James here. He's uh, taking the wire brush to a J hook and he's going to paint it up in a minute. He almost forgot to put his cutting goggles on. Cutting goggles slash safety goggles. Quotation marks. But he's doing a pretty good job here. Uh, give him a Give him a smile there, James. But he's doing a pretty good job. He's going to get all that rust off it, and I'll let him paint it. Be back here, excuse me, and I'll uh, show you him painting it up. All right, James is getting ready to do his painting here. Uh, we're going to try this stuff right here. I've never used it before. It's called Zinc It Instant Cold Galvanizing. I figure this is going to be in a lot of mud and stuff over the years, and we'll see if it'll last. I mean, I know it ain't going to rust away or anything, but, you know, I also don't want it to uh, be rusted every time I get a hold of it and get my hands all nasty. So, we're going to figure out what I'm doing to the camera and maybe aha uh -huh, maybe I got it All right, we're gonna see James here painting it I'm gonna get him ready we're gonna wipe this down real good before we uh, decide to paint it 
clean the camera off. I don't uh, got no paint thinner out here. So we're just gonna use a little gas out of an old jug, gas jug. Wipe it down, I'll get rid of any rust. You can see what comes off it there. Any oil from your skin or anything, you know, just clean it up a little bit, get rid of the impurities. Well, yeah, that word that I can't say. All right, we're gonna let it dry off here and then we'll paint it. Yeah. Stay back a little ways. Yeah, James is starting to do it now. All the way down and around. Come over here and get the side. Don't let it run. All right, we're gonna cut here and let him finish up. Here's what it looks like when it's drying. Uh, get you a close up of it there. I went ahead and just misted that chain a little bit. Maybe I'll save some of the rust from getting all over me. I'll show you a little clip of it when it's dry and we'll use it on the truck in a minute. Here's what we was going for on the road bike. We haven't put a hook on this end of it, which that thing's got to come off. If we do put a hook, we're not certain on it. See, this is like our, got to have a safety chain. That way, if you wreck, this can't go forward and hit anything. You know, it, it keeps it from flipping up. Which this ain't tightened down. I just got it in here to show you because that chain's tight. But this is your concept right here. See how it locks in the bed? Instead of having to go up, wrap around all that, baby just hooks in right there when you let the pressure off this stuff turned out pretty good actually i'm kind of surprised i wish i'd have cleaned that chain up and done the whole chain now but we may do that later uh but right now that's what it looks like uh looks like it's gonna hold up pretty good we'll see find out uh but that's that's exactly what i've been wanting i'll show you these j hooks the regular j hooks up front what the factory one put like. These ain't tightened back up yet. That's the way they look on the front. Uh, I got another one in here. You can see right in there, there's one for the back, but it's on like a 20 foot chain, which doesn't work well. So this should do what we want her to do. All right, guys. Goodness. Me and James is uh, going to go shake this thing off and call it a day. Like us, subscribe if you like the video. Thank you.